Hello and welcome to Mike Dunn Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about The Iron Lady, a good month after it's been released, but uh, today's been the first time I've been able to see it. Um, the story tells of uh, the early political life and uh, the current life of Margaret Thatcher, the first British female Prime Minister. And um, it's had a lot of controversy in the, in the like, media and so forth for being like either right wing or left wing or depicting a quite awkward portrayal of uh, Margaret Thatcher while she's still alive. And um, I thought that the film on overall was a very good film. It was very well made and very well directed. Um, the script was alright, but it, it was a bit clunky, the whole flashbacks of Margaret Thatcher having, um, well, Margaret Thatcher having flashbacks from her earlier life, uh, while she's just stumbling around her home, chucking out her dead husband's, um, like, clothes and materials, giving them to Oxfam, and while she's, like, finding, uh, certain objects and, um, hearing things on the news whilst her, her daughter comes around, and she's, she's reminiscing to her times during her Prime Minister career. Um, Meryl Streep is absolutely fantastic. Um, she, I feel like she deserves the Oscar pretty much for this, but despite the fact it's just basically a really good Im impression of Margaret Thatcher. Um, Olivia Colman's really good as uh, her daughter Carol, and Den uh, Dennis Thatcher is played magnificently by Jim Broadbent. He just pops up in um, Margaret Thatcher's psyche, and just here and now and again, and just he basically has fun with the role, and you can tell he's really enjoying it. Um, I d I'm not a guy who's been around <laughs> during Margaret Thatcher's years, so I it's all it's all just been what people have told me about Margaret Thatcher um, and her career. So my parents um, were a bit off <laughs> off about her. So I've I've been brought up in a, like a Labour household, thinking that oh the Margaret Thatcher years were just awful and. Um, a few of my friends have been conservatives thinking, oh, they, they, were, they were fantastic years and she was like, like a great head of the Conservative Party. And you can see both sides of the argument in this film. You can see how she was a stalwart head of the party and how she stuck to her convictions and didn't let anyone push her around. But you still saw like the miners' strikes and the other various union strikes, which I'm pretty sure the Labour support in the audience will be behind and it just it basically threw down the middle really you could see both sides and you can see how she handled it and why she handled it it made me feel for margaret thatcher which is weird because i haven't really felt much compassion for her over the years but i would put that down to good uh, storytelling and the emotional bridge that she had with her husband which you see during the film and as she's grow, as she's going more and more into dementia and seeing more of um, Dennis around the house, you you really do feel for Thatcher, unfortunately for my for me. Um, but that would be down to just Street and Broadbent doing a fantastic job. It is worth seeing just from may, maybe not from just a political standpoint, but from a filmmaking standpoint as well. It's, it's interesting to see someone else take on Margaret Thatcher apart from Spitting Image, really. So, I really do recommend it. I hope Street wins the Oscar this year. Um, I know she's won it before, but this was a fantastic performance. Um, and yeah, it's a very good film. I hope you enjoy it.